All right, y'all. First, we're gonna start off with the preparation of the meal. This is ravishing entrees. We're gonna start off with the preparation of the meal. Something I like to do, you know, I like to prep my food before I, you know, get it ready, get my mind right, my mind straight on preparing an excellent meal. First, we have. Wine rolls, some of my favorite. We got the Cybergs wing sauce, garlic powder, as well as McCormick's. And then we have our party wing. First thing I like to do is thaw out my party wings, get them thawed out, and then we'll get the seasoning the wings. I like to let my meat thaw with seasoning in it. The way the seasoning is getting in while it's thawing, and it's able to sit in the seasoning for a little while <coughs> something I like doing the way we're we're throwing in the we're throwing in the seasoning and like I said I work with a little garlic powder a little grilling steak seasoning and I like for it to thaw within that so give it a few minutes a little while for it to thaw out and we'll be back my next thing I need to do is get the new wave prepped I prepped the new wave I give it a little, little pam on the rack so the wings doesn't stick to the rack and the next thing I will be doing will be seasoning the chicken now that my chicken has thawed start the seasoning process. I use a lot of garlic powder. It's very healthy for you. I also use McCormick. Shout out to McCormick. I'm gonna need an endorsement deal. So I use McCormick and that's pretty much how I do things. Season the meat real good. Now I'm sure you guys know not to touch chicken. But some of you guys don't know not to touch chicken. But uh, you shouldn't touch chicken due to the fact that it contaminates your hands. So I always use my little poker. thing I do is start loading the grill up. So what's next is I start loading up the grill. So I get them all on there. Turn on the new wave. And if you guys haven't bought you a new wave, well, let me be the first one to endorse the new waves. Like they are an excellent, excellent kitchen gadget. 
will be very impressed with how the new wave trims the fat off of anything you want to grill. Very simple. We get the new wave started. And next up, potatoes. Next up is the potatoes. So for the tip potatoes, you definitely want to rinse them off. You definitely want to get a good rinse on them. Clean them up. Rinse them out really well. Get them really well rinsed off. And once you start cutting the tip potatoes, you want to cut them at least a at least an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch thick, because you don't want them to turn into mashed potatoes. Make sure you get a good rinse on them. So you definitely want to Cut your tip potatoes. Get them cut. Get them cut real good as your chicken is cooking. Now once you finish cutting up your tip potatoes, you want to put them in cold water. Have them sitting in cold water. Next thing you know, you get your you get your skillet prepared to cook the tip potatoes. Also, remember to clean up as you go. That way, it makes it uh, clean up easy. Next up, you season the potatoes. My favorite garlic powder. And a little black pepper. Get that really good and seasoned. And next we have, we'll be cooking the potatoes. Next, we cook the potatoes. Get your skillet, fill it up with water, and just start putting the potatoes in. Chicken is being cooked. So what you want to do now is season the tip potatoes a little more, just a little more, a little dab, dab of garlic powder, dab of pepper, and you want to cook that down. Make sure your eye is always low. You want to cook that down until they start to look like baked potatoes on the inside and you'll, you'll know that they're already, already all the way cooked through. Check on the, let's check on the chicken. The chicken is, as you can see, the fat is dripping off of the chicken down into the bottom of the new way. Um, we still have a little, little ways to go, but you definitely want to check your chicken and check on it for when you need to turn it over so it's not quite get ready to turn over but almost so you got a little chance to relax a little bit until it's time so you have the chicken cooking and you have 
the chip potatoes cooking. All right, so should be time to flip the chicken. As you can see, grilled to perfection. The fat has fell off of the chicken and I'm about to flip them. All right, now it's time to stir our tip potatoes. Check them, see if they done in the middle. And like I said, um, they should feel like mashed potatoes on the inside. You just don't want, you don't want them to start breaking apart. So definitely got to check those. Looks like the tip potatoes are done. I'm gonna come over here. Looks like my first batch of wings are done. So next up, throw some more wings in. Let my tip potatoes cool off. So next up is getting the chicken wings up out of here. Putting them in the buckets when I shake up the sauce. Next up, we'll shake them up with some Cyberg sauce. And I guess I'll be putting some more wings on. So, what I'm doing now is just putting a little sauce on it. I've already put sauce at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do now is put my lid on. Make sure your lid is real tight. Shake them up. Shake them up. Get the rings. Covered in the sunburn sauce. And this is The ending product. So next we do, next we will plate our plates. All right, first we plate with the tip potatoes. Then we plate with the wings. Now we plate with the wings. I definitely like the drums. Also make sure you clean your tongs. You don't want all the other chicken to be on there. So. Next up, after you plate the wings, sprinkle a little cheese on the tip potatoes. Throw that in the microwave just for a second. After adding my Hawaiian sweet rolls, then add a few carrot sticks, a few celery sticks, to make sure it's a balanced meal, and voila! And that, my friend, is what I call a meal. You have vegetables, you have tipped potatoes, Hawaiian sweet rolls, and you have my version of Cyberg's chicken wings. Now follow me on Facebook at backslash Rob Ruger. And hey, welcome to 
ravishings entrees.